Pirates, welcome to the announcements. Please join us as we say the pledge to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Okay. What's your name? My name is Amelda. Amelda. What's your last name? Herrera. Herrera. How old are you? I'm 18. 18 years old. This time last year, what did you think you would be doing at this point this year? Mm, not this. <laughs> not this. <laughs> Explain a little bit why you're here right now. Okay, well, um, last year I was supposed to graduate. Mm -hmm. I had over a hundred and over 350 hours to make up, so I wasn't able to graduate. I didn't come to school a lot of times, and I would also leave early or arrive late. So, of course, that had, you know, like to do with the hours I had to make up. I did summer school. I've been doing community service. And obviously coming to school when this year started. At what point last year did you figure out or did they tell you, somebody tell you that you're going to be in danger of not graduating? Pretty much all year, all since year. the beginning of the year. Like, okay. yeah. So you had plenty of warning, I guess. Yeah, I did. In order to make up hours, did you do any Saturday school at the end of the year last year? Yeah, only towards the end, though. Yeah. Like. Yeah. You tried to get started, but... Yeah, it was too late. <laughs> so you were passing all your classes. Right. Okay. So you went to summer school just for hours, not mm. for making up yeah. grades. Okay. Did they let you walk across the stage? No, they did not. They did not. So you, how, how long have you been here this year since the beginning, since school started? I started three days after, okay. just trying to make up the hours. <laughs> yeah. Ready to get your diploma, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm... I'm a little it's sad because like i didn't get to walk the stage mm -hmm. of course i didn't get that experience so if you did you know be grateful that's another thing to be grateful about because not everybody has that opportunity but at least i'll get my diploma what are you gonna do after afterwards yeah i want to go to school and i want to open my own uh esthetician business oh, cool mm -hmm. cool anything else you want to add before i let you go mm. Not really. Just okay. come to school. <laughs> come to school, definitely. So, Miss Brinkley asked me to uh, make sure everyone knew the exam schedule is out and you have no excuse, no reason not to be at school for exams. The career prep people or anybody that's got a job, your work does not excuse you from school. You have to be at these exams, especially if you're not exempt, you have to be present. Be mindful of that when it gets close to exam time. Make sure that you're not scheduled to work during exam time. Do not schedule doctors, dentist appointments, anything during exam time. If you're not exempt, you are not allowed to leave school. This isn't, this is obviously a black and white issue, right? If you get pulled over for speeding and you were doing 55 and a 50, the policeman has a little leeway, right? He can give you a warning. He can let you off. If you fail a test, most teachers will let you make that up to a 70, right? There's some gray area there. There's no gray area with the state and how many times you have to have your rear end in a seat at school. Get your butt to school. Get your hours in, earn your diploma. Hey Pirates, if you're interested in joining the Pine Tree Archery Program, come out to our next practice on Wednesday, October 4th. Good morning Pirates, my name is Lee Branson. I'm the Fine Arts and UIL Academic Coordinator here at Pine Tree ISD. I hope you're having a great day. And an important message for all of you UIL academic students. Tomorrow, Friday, during our advisory, it's very important that you do not go to your normal advisory class. Please report to the cafeteria where we're gonna kick off our fundraiser and share some important information with you. If you are interested in serving your school or community, join Pine Tree High School Student Council. Packets are available in the Counseling Center or in room 608 with Ms. Rutledge. 
Have a great day, Pirates.